Welcome to EFT for the deaf or hard of hearing. So what I'm going to teach you here is how to apply EFT to help you overcome negative feelings in your life. Okay, so to start off with, what I want to do is I want to show you where all the points are. But before I do, EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And this technique is a gentle tapping technique where you tune your mind into a problem state and tap on various points on your body to balance the energy in your body. So you're doing three things with EFT. One is placing your attention on the problem. A, awareness. Then there's B, balancing the energy in your system by tapping on these points and also while tapping on these points is c clearing the problem that feeling that's holding you back from doing whatever you want to do in life so let's begin by showing you some of the points that you will be using you will be tapping here this is called the eyebrow point and it's on the edge of the eyebrow near the bridge of the nose. And then you'll be tapping on here, the side of the eye, called the side of the eye point, on the bony point on the side of the eye. And then you'll be tapping under the eye, on the bony point under the eye, and it's called under the eye point. And then you'll be tapping under the nose, obviously called under the nose point. It will be tapping on a point called the chin point, but this point is actually between the bottom lip and the chin, and you will be tapping here, in that gap in the bottom. And then the collarbone point, just run your finger down and across, and you'll feel a bony point. Just run it down to the top of your breastbone, and across, and feel around, and you'll feel a bony point sticking out, and you tap there. And for me, it sounds a little hollow. And that's called the collarbone point. And then you'll be tapping under the arm. And this is where a lady's bass, brass strap is, or just in line with your nipple, just follow your hand around, tapping there. And then on top of the head. Now you'll be using the index finger and middle finger to tap on these points. Reason being, one is a negative charge and a positive charge. And I don't know if you've heard of it, yin and yang. This is the energies that run through the body. A positive and negative charge. Female, male. You'll see that symbol, the black and white symbol. Uh, for the yin yang. Okay, so there are the points. Plus, this is going to be the first one you'll be using. And this is called the karate chop point. And you'll be tapping on the side of your hand. Okay, now, in the next video, I'm going to guide you through a process of using these points and getting an idea of how to use them.